Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello, good morning. It's Robin. This is Morning Magic. This is our time to shine together, be together, love together, practice healing together. And remember the light. Remember the joy. Remember the ease. Remember the peace. Remember the practice. Remember the choosing. This is our time to be together and do that. So I'm wishing you a beautifully, fabulous, wonderful, gorgeous day. It is, after all, the weekend. This is still Saturday. Um, this is still the weekend, you know, and um, it is summer. Some of you are in winter, I know, but you know, sorry, sorry for you. <laughs> it's our time. Let's be together. Let's shine the light and share in the light. So let me say hi to you. Good morning, gorgeous. You know who that is. <laughs> um, good morning, Amanda. First one here, garden goddess of my heart. Hello. Hello, Miss Melanie. I decided today I'm going to receive each of you just for me today. So that's this. Good morning, Rosie. Hello. Happy you're here. Carrie, Carrie, Carrie. Good morning. Good morning. Lizzie, girl. Lizzie, Lizzie, Lizzie. Love you, honey. If you're just hopping on, I said I'm receiving you today gonna celebrate you in my heart right now Erica 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 and vibes for Levi yeah good morning Amy 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 hello Caitlin 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 And Lizzie says, so pretty, so lucky to have you. <gasps> Ooh, don't make me cry. My face is already so red today. Thank you, honey. I feel lucky to have you too. Lizzie and I went to the beach together yesterday. I put a few pictures in the stories. We had so much fun and it's a big deal, right? Robin shared her secret beach and her raft. I shared my raft and Lizzie went out. She is so... I said it's just like when she was five, just looking out and remembering that and seeing that beautiful woman now and that same sparkle, that same, you know, that same feeling of being in love with your kid. <gasps> yes. Okay. Honey, pause. Woo -hoo. Good morning. <laughs> Ellen, good morning. Ellen, Ellen, Ellen. You know, when we used to do healing circles, we would say our names three times. And you could say, I got a hair in my eye. You could say your own name three times, too. It's powerful. So, good morning, amazing Rabindo. Good morning, amazing Carrie. Carrie, Carrie, Carrie. Here comes Amy. Amy, Amy, Amy. Good morning. Good morning. So, friends, um, hopefully I will get this hair out of my eye. You know how it is. It's running through your eyelash. And yes, last night's mascara, let's be honest. Yesterday's mascara. <laughs> yeah. So, friends, let's cheers to the day. I had a powerful, um, you know, moment. Okay, if I do that again, just wait. I don't know what the H is going on there. So, just pause and don't leave. I think we're back now. So, I said I had a powerful sitting this morning. Just being, you know, just being in the vibes. I'm no longer somebody who meditates for a set time and all that crap I used to do. I didn't say yours was crap. I said mine was crap. Now I'm just being, listening to music, walking the garden, doing a little yoga my way. Here comes a blue jay, friends. Just swooped. Whoops. Melanie, I spilt it. I did. Finally, it happened. Here comes a blue jay watching our little love posse sermon this morning so um i sat and i had a beautiful message come through so here's what i'm gonna cheers to 
I cheers to our self-forgiveness. Self-forgiveness. Here we go. Today is the day to be released. Ready? Are you in? Cheers. See, it was good I wore dark today because there's coffee all down my front. Oh, the bluebird just, blue jay just, <laughs> that startled me. Just flew right in and hung on the windowsill. You guys, there are little messengers today. That's beautiful. So, weather in the heart. How are you today? How did you wake up? Did you hug yourself? Are you practicing? Are you remembering? You know? Are you doing it? Mm, 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 mm. Like that. You should do the mm, 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 mm. <laughs> You should be doing that. Yes, I hope you did. And I hope you chose a word for the day. I want to know what that is. Today we're going to talk about self-forgiveness. I'm going to keep saying it because I think we have an automatic um, eject button with the word forgiveness. And if you put self-forgiveness together, it's like, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. You just go on like delete, delete, or reboot, right? <laughs> it's kind of funny. So tell me what your words are. Tell me if you hugged yourself and, and, and then I'll begin. And let me say to the beautiful men in our posse, hello, Mr. Stewart, and hello, Mr. Jeffrey. You, you guys arrived at the same time? I love that. Hello, hello, hello. And hi, Michelle, good to see you. I am receiving you all. It's so nice, you know. Just stop and let yourself allow what you love. And I love you. I love this time. Um, I love that. I love having decided, chosen to keep doing this um, and to let it be easy and the opportunity to be with you every day and learn together and grow together. You know, that's where I'm at. So today my word is appreciate, appreciate. <laughs> so Amy says, today center and ground. That's gorgeous. That's beautiful. Um, Ma Hi, Mary. Amy says, compassion. Good. Perfect. I love it. Mary says, I hug myself and my word is held. That's beautiful. Hmm, I love that. Amanda says, trust. Yes, I love that too, trust. And receive, if I can add one on for you. Receive. Just sometimes, only occasionally I get bossy. Yeah. Hiya. Hiya, Stuart. You think your word is reset, Alan? Or were you talking to me? I'm definitely saying reboot was what I was saying, but um, my word is truth. Caitlin, what do you know? That's, the, yeah. And stand on your truth. I sometimes tell friends, be prepared to stand on your truth. Know it, stand on it. Like you're on a little hoverboard, you know? Stand on it though, and then be prepared tomorrow to have a new truth because you know what's amazing? We do this work, honor our truth. This is what my truth is. This is what I know. This is what's going on in this moment. This is what's real for me now. Don't you love it? I could just sit here all day doing this. This is what I know to be true. This is how it feels. This is my truth. This is my truth. And you acknowledge it and you realize that's a transformational segue. <laughs> do you like that? It's a segue to the next piece. So happy for you. That's beautiful. Your word is nature, Stuart. That's beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. Nature is so healing. Okay, good, Amanda. Amanda, my bathtub arrived. I'm going to have to text you a very funny picture. I stood inside of it. It is, it's, you know, yours. Yours is like perfect. Um, yeah, I got out a tape measure, but this looks like a tow boat in the shape of a bathtub. We'll see. I'm having to um, laugh a lot about that. 
Carrie, your word is alive and you're feeling it today. Woo that is so good. Melanie's word is sovereign. I love that. And if you would say more, I would love that too. But you, you don't have to. I just think we all learn from you so beautifully, my friend. Okay, reset. Good. That's a nice word for you, Alan. Reset. Caitlin, I'm struggling today. Okay. I'm struggling today as I see people leaving my life because they disagree with me. I keep feeling like I'm bad or wrong, but I know who I am. And whoa, I know how I serve and I know my truth. Yes, my friend. You know oh, what Melanie just said, holding your hand. Same here, same here. We're holding your hand and it's like you have these beautiful goddesses and this family of friends and we're standing with you in solidarity, my friend. We are, we are here supporting you and friends listening, seriously, let's tune to that. Have you had this experience? People le left your life because they differ with you but you knew your truth you knew what you had to do. You know that Mary Oliver poem, you knew what you had to do, you knew what, and still it's so painful. This is a place where we get that. We get that. We have cried the tears with you. We have cried the tears in our own life. And you know, What is coming to me in this moment is it's important work that we allow ourselves to process and grieve. Um, I know I've been telling you a little bit about my own kind of a big breakup too. It's not kind of, it is, it's huge. It's, it's on some level devastatingly huge, you know? Um, and I realize, like, you can spend a lot of time defending your actions in your own head without ever feeling the feelings. I don't know if anyone can relate to that, but I, I certainly can. Where you just keep defending your, I, this is the right thing, I know this is the right thing, I know this is the right thing, I'm doing the right, well, 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 you're like answering yourself. But you know what? We can let ourselves grieve. We can acknowledge where we are. Again, that's the transi transitional um, move that sets us to the next piece. And also, um, gently, gently, am I ready to receive love that's right for me? So many of us have this pattern. You know, maybe it was born in childhood. I don't really care because what I care about is right now, you know where we are now but so many of us have this experience grow in our life where we continue to attract the same kind of energy in and it's an opportunity you know a wheel or we're walking the mountain however we like to look at it sometimes and um, we keep getting the same energy but you know what we're not the same us we keep shifting and growing and so here we are you know, at this round, for us, and I, I'm inviting you on this with me, Caitlin, and anybody else, this is relative, uh, related, whatever. You know what I mean. Um, okay, let's grieve it. Let's feel it and grieve it for no reason other than I want to honor what's happening for me because I honor me. So we don't need to defend it. We don't need to justify it. We don't need to explain it. Let's just feel it. And the best way I feel is to hold on to the body. Hold on my heart. I lay on the floor and I, I lay on the carpet. I lay on the yoga mat and I hold on and I breathe. And I let myself feel it. Let myself feel it. And then you know, we can just as easily throw our arms wide. I'm open to receiving true friendship, true love, true, true, true. And I am free. I know who I am. I know what I am and I know how I serve. 
This is all in service of the divine for your friend, for, for us. Um, we're all learning together because of this. So I thank you for that, my friend. And yeah, you got a lot of love here for you. Yeah, it's powerful. Receive. <clears throat> I like what Amanda said. You know, sometimes we aren't in the place. This was very nice here, if you didn't see her comment. Sometimes friends aren't ready, and that too is something to look at. You know, that was one of my, Amanda, one of my little funny things that I get into is people aren't ready <laughs> for this jelly. You know, they're not they're not ready. And in a way, for me, it's like expecting people who aren't there to be there is part of an ego journey I need to look at. You know, why do I keep doing that? So I'm, and I'm not doing that now. I'm really excited to say the people in my inner circle are all on the journey. They're practicing, they're learning. And it feels so wonderful. There's like, Where's the conflict? Remember the where's the beef lady? Where's the beef? I don't have a conflict. You know, the, my biggest problem is if we um, get together and we're looking at each other, nobody has words. <laughs> we're like, <laughs> so funny. So lots of love for you there. Hello, Lena's ward. Loss in darkness, no self-esteem, confidence, I don't see the light, can't forgive myself, can't feel the love, can't feel life. So right there, you're in the right place, babe. Let's take a breath together. <sighs> Today we're talking about self-forgiveness. Are you so on the right day? Yes, you are. So stay tuned. And I'd love you to choose a word for yourself that's like a big hug, a big celebration, a big, I'm going to love you right where you are and help you out of this darkness. See what comes to you. You're welcome, Caitlin. You know, I'm glad you express your gratitude. It's really an important component to moving forward. Sometimes we stay in a place because we haven't said thank you. It's really the truth. So even for the shit, even for the terror, even for the horror, you know, it's a beautiful thing to say thank you. Say thank you. Erica's word is rest. Nice. So today, forgiveness, self-forgiveness. Um, probably easiest if I just say this to you. If you put a hand here, you put a hand here. This is what I, these two energy centers, so solar, solar plexus and your heart chakra. Heart chakra, relational energy, and also how I feel about myself. Um, and when I work with friends in session, this is the energy center that carries the unforgiveness and the upset and the, see me going like this, the anger, the bitterness. So a lot of times this is why where we have, if you ever have heart um, issues or blood pressure issues, um, palpitations, if it's sometimes hard to breath, breathing issues, this is the center. And you don't need to do a hundred pound journey about it. I promise you, transformation happens like this. And I'm gonna do that for anybody who's relating to this now. I ask for that healing for you because it's a decision always to step out or step in to the pain or the upset or the unforgiveness you know so we can be done we can be done and then we need to hold the line that's up to us and the mind and the ego am i right like sometimes it's hard to hold the line but you're done so right in the heart chakra what are you carrying about yourself how are you hard on yourself again How? What's happening? Just feel into that for a minute, okay? Where do you go? Where do you beat up on yourself? You know, this morning I went out and cut a flower because if I don't wear anything flowery, I like to have a flower. I went out and cut a flower and number one was coming home from his walk and I had in my back pocket 
Melanie had just texted me a song and I love her. Bright are the stars. I don't know. Could never shine as long as I have you near me. Do, 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 do. I got all the words wrong there. Doesn't matter. Do, 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 do. So I'm walking out and Jeff comes and he stops and he's like, and I'm like, I'm already two minutes late for morning magic. I have to get a flower. So I just walk. I smile at him. I greet but I keep going. Keep going. I feel like, Robin, you're an asshole. You know, that's what happens. The thought is like, you're a horrible person. You're such a jerk. It's like that. So how do we do it? I forgive you. It's all right. No, mm -mm. no. And, you know, like the Course in Miracles teaches or Paul Selig and the guides or me too, we can say, thank you, a holy statement, thank you. I'm not going into that, though. So I went and got my flower. I came back. He was waiting for me. We had a nice little kiss, didn't we, honey? And it was okay. When you decide to do the work, the next move, the next, you know, instead of standing in that place and beating yourself up, Transformation just, it's like, do, 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 do. It just happens. You're free, you're free, you're free. So, heart chakra, solar plexus. You know, what is it about your identity that you keep criticizing? Same energy. Keep criticizing about the way you are in the world or the way people see you or the what you say or what you don't do or how you haven't. Stro striven, strived enough. <laughs> that word always cracks me up. You're not doing it right. You know, a lot of us build an identity. Um, some of you here build an identity around your story that is not, if you really just wrote your story in three sentences, you know, Vini Vidi Vici, <laughs> Vidi Vidi Vici. I came, I saw, I conquered. Let's just say it that way. You write your little story out, you will see, I am telling a story that drags me to hell every single day. Every day. And I know who I am in that story and I get all this energy that is not supporting me, but it is. It's support Your ego loves it, you know? So sit with that. How am I keep doing this? And I forgive myself. Are you willing to do that? I release this now. I forgive myself. So back to you, Melanie, sovereignty. I am in dominion over my thinking. I choose. I reclaim my thinking. Amen. That's beautiful right there. We can reclaim our thinking. Thank you, Carrie. It's <laughs> so familiar <laughs> and good to be reminded of. You know, this is our practice. What story are we telling? I sometimes feel so transformed by remembering this too my friends you know last week i told you last i'm still getting messages um on the replays and hi to you on youtube hello hello um i love to hear what your word of the day is even if you weren't here live you know that too is just a story that you have to be here live the other day my friend said it's so exclusive your morning magic if you're not there live, you're not part of it. And I thought, that's your problem, lady. <laughs> that's your problem. You know, you could be here live or you could watch later and decide it's live because it's always now, right? <laughs> I love it, though, because at another time I would have felt sad and apologetic. You know, my story, like I do it wrong. Nothing I do is right. I never get ahead because I'm always doing it wrong. You know, I forgive you. And I am living my freaking life. I am in the joy of my aliveness. I am living this day. Sometimes people come in, well, virtual healing sessions. And friends, I give amazing healing sessions. And I have a special COVID, you know, life changing option too. If you want to check that out, just go to sessions and the profile link, you'll see it. Um, 
you know, sometimes people will just talk to me about Weight Watcher points for an hour. There is no judgment here because everybody has a thing they do. If you look into your mirror, you will see your thing. So sometimes people talk to me about Weight Watcher points and making bullet journals to track their points. And it's always fun at first. And then the ego finally takes hold. It's like, you know, you get a little honeymoon phase with stuff you start to do to improve your life, to make yourself better. Hey, Allie, this is perfect timing. Hi, honey. That was so funny. <laughs> that was perfect. I said, you know, surprise us with a little funny thing today before I hit the button. You know, sometimes I'm late because I do my prayer. I set the space before I join. It's true. That's why sometimes, like, I'm not going to compromise on those things. Even if the me is like, hurry! So, Allie, your word today is faith. That's Oh, that's beautiful. And Jeff says, ah, yeah, the honeymoon phase. Yeah, so we get into a honeymoon phase with things, you know? And the ego is like the silent. It's it's like the, the person in the very back seat on the bus who's like got a strange hat on. They've got a bag sitting in their lap. And they're just a little strange, you know? But you're like, we just kind of ignore the person in the back of the bus. That's the one to watch. They're watching everything, writing it all down, collecting all the data. That's your ego, storing information. You read a book six years ago, it recorded that data. Anytime you're about to get that book out again, it's like, it's been six years. You never finished it. You're kind of lazy. You're kind of not doing anything with your life. You never read the books you buy. You know what I'm saying? So how do we forgive ourselves? You know, so <clears throat> yeah, my friends who are on the weight loss stories or health, health stories, I just want to be healthy. Um, you are healthy right now. You are health. Do you not know your abundance, your health, your beauty, your energy, your light, you're a goddess, you're a god, you're a lord. I just wish there was a, I don't like all the alternatives for men, but you're a goddess, boys, because you have feminine essence in you. <laughs> just like we are warriors, you know, like that. Um, we're perfect now. That's where it begins, accepting it now, seeing it now. So yeah. One hour about points. One hour about Weight Watcher points. And it, I, I'm not saying I sat and listened through it and didn't say a word. I did. You know, I'm so grateful for these opportunities where we can use a real thing to talk about. Okay, so points. It's fun to evaluate your progress and put the color charts in. And, you know, but at some point, do you know, there's that version of you in the back of the bus with the crazy hat on and the big bag of notes about you. And it's waiting for an opportunity to pounce. I said, start loving yourself now. Get out of the shower. Yes, look at your whole naked body in the mirror and love it. I am willing to love you. Hold your belly. I'm holding mine right now. Hold your belly. I love you. Thank you. Like, thank you for keeping my um, intestines from exploding all over the place. <laughs> thank you, belly. Thank you. You guys, we have to practice. So let us please apply this to our own story. Do you feel like you party too much? Do you feel like you watch too many Netflix movies? I don't know. You're not earning enough money right now. You're not getting anywhere in your life. Did you not heal your cancer yet? There are many of you here with that story. Not just one or two, by the way. Have you not healed it yet? You know? 
dental stories. Oh my gosh. You know, I, as a kid, knocked a ton of my teeth out falling face first off a high dive on somebody else's watch. I never had business being up there as a six-year-old, but um, that never factors into my ego story when I have to go to the dentist and just like, you know, there's stuff I need to do to take care of my teeth and I used to have craniosacral work, you know, migraines and all of this and all the while I would be ashamed, seriously of my teeth or like that I need, it got to this place and, um, oh, and I love to eat candy for sure. And my parents gave me Coca-Cola in my bottle and I'm smiling like I loved all of that and I, I get it, you know, but the point is the way we beat ourselves up, no. So what's required in any situation is love and healing. You need to embrace it. So. Some of you call yourself fat. You need to love yourself. Some of you say the worst things to yourself. You need to forgive it today. This is why you suffer. And this is why, you know, those next level things you want for your life. I'm sorry. Do you think we're going to promote? Do you think God's going to promote somebody who's like, I'm a fat pig. I don't deserve to be here. I'm a terrible person. Everybody hates me. Nobody loves me. But I would like a boat and a million dollars and the head of the whatever. And I want to write a book. And I want the love of my life. And where's my stuff? Where? Where? God doesn't listen to me. God doesn't love me. I'm a piece of shit. See? God knows I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> my life is over. I'm a failure. That's what we do. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up. I could be telling any one of our stories right now, right? So how do we just, you guys, let's love us today. Let's forgive. Let's forgive. Let me catch up with you here. <clears throat> Thank you, Stuart. Amy, I love you saying about the bullet journals. I've tried a million and one trackers for behavior change and always stop because it consumes so much energy and felt terrible. Yeah. You know, you are your own tracker every day. You know, as I say to my friend, the Weight Watcher Points client, uh, friend on the journey, I always call clients friend on the journey, but for clarity here, sometimes I say client, so you know what I'm talking about. Um, you know what we get to track from here on out? your vibes and where you want to go today what you're excited about why don't we change to that why don't we change to that she said yeah but then i what who who's gonna watch my carbs <laughs> i said you will you will you will when you're happy when you're free uh you're not crazy it's just so simple So Amy, you're saying the perfect thing right there. So what? this is what happens when we go down that hole of trying to be perfect and make everything perfect and track perfectly. And we never really analyze what is the real intention underneath this. I'm gonna track my behaviors in the journal and this and that. This is it right here. I was a bad girl who was just like all the losers out there who couldn't stick with or finish anything. Yeah. That's what the ego wants. The lady in the crazy hat in the back of the bus. Thank you, Allie. Um, <laughs> preach. Thanks, Melanie. Um, that's what we want. That's what that part of us wants. See, you never do it right. You're just like every other loser out there. This is why you are punished and doomed forever. This is why. This is why. You know? And that is so far from the truth. The truth is you're gorgeous, beautiful, and connected to God at all times. Whether you know it or not, the connection, you know, the, the, the link is still there. That's who you are. Beauty and light. God in the body. Here to express your special journey in your unique way. So 
being hard on ourselves. Hi, Carol. Good to see you. Being hard on yourself. Being unkind. It's time to just do a little forgiveness. When you catch it, you know, there's no plan you need to do. Just hold your heart and soften in. I, um, you know, I'm sure you have felt that pull of shiny objects, um, that promise of maybe sometimes in the marketing. Um, there are people who write really, really well, and they just know how to speak to the pain. That's one of the common things that copywriters know to do. Speak to the pain points. That's the guidance. So what if you knew that as you're reading and you're receiving? Oh, you know, this is their, they're doing a good job getting people to buy something based on pain points. I have pain points. I don't need to buy the thing. I, I want to sit with and love my pain points and learn to love all of it. This All of this makes up who I am. Will you love and embrace her, him? Will you celebrate yourself? That's the only question before us. Will you do it? Even though there might be objections, even though there may be fear, even though there may be worry, yeah. This feels life-changing to me. I'm excited. Amy, tell me one thing you're going to take away today. Just, you know, for fun. Or tell your heart. You don't have to tell me. But know that these comments do go away after the live is over. I love that so much that they change that. It's private then. It's just for this time. And the other Amy, Sparkle Amy, I feel the shifts too. Good. Why don't we do a little energy healing? Because I am working today and I have a session in 12 minutes, which you know I'm so excited about. If you're not interested in energy healing, just do this in front of your face. This is a gentle healing for that heart chakra and that solar plexus chakra. Anything you're ready to have transformed. And I would never push any of us to do something until we're ready. Promise, I wouldn't. So you have to be really in charge of your own heart now, okay? But anything you're ready to let go of, you can share it here in the comments. We'll do a magic prayer around it. Remember magic prayer? It's been a little while since I've shared that. Hi friends, just joining. These replays are all on YouTube and IGTV. I like YouTube because you can play it in the background and keep, I know we're multitaskers. I don't mind. You're free to multitask while you listen. The healing goes in sometimes better. You know that when the mind is not so involved? I don't know if you've ever thought of that, so. Forgiveness, this is for Amy. Forgiveness of my body that I've hated for so long. I can do it. I can truly love myself. And Amy, we love you. Don't we, you guys? We love you. We love you with an infinite love. We love you with a sparkle love. The love of truth and light. And you are beautiful. And the minute you start saying I love you, it gets better. The minute you start, you probably feel it already, right? You've said a couple things here. So I forgive this now. I release this now. And I, <laughs> my hair is in my armpit. <laughs> Just a little humor healing and serious healing. Um, I release it now. It's okay. I'm okay. Such, this is the only way. Such transformation, feeling the stress, feeling the fear, feeling the upset, you know, in my own life, feeling like all those old stories. I don't even want to name them anymore. I released it. It's done. And you, you know, you will find miracles that happen. You will. You'll find something very specific that happens related back to you. 
Um, it happened to me this morning. Very specific miracle. If you're watching carefully, you will see yours. Yeah, Brigsby's for the I'm 49 years old and loving my body for the first time and my heart is with you so much. Yeah, we know what this is like, do we not? You know? Yeah. And, and it, you know what I love? You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be perfect. I stood in my new little swimming pool thing. It's not little. It's like a boat. Oh my God. Where is it going to go? I have to forgive this. I've been really upset with myself in a weird way. It's like you received the thing you've been so excited about and this is how you greet it. Yeah, that's how I'm doing it. Um, so anyway, I said, take a picture of me. So I'm standing inside the boat. I mean, really, it's like a boat. And the first thing I see is my belly. And, and my thought goes, you look like a spark plug, you know? That's the, that's the first thing that comes. So what if we were not dismayed by the lady in the back of the bus with the crazy hat on who has a bucket of journaling notes about all your worst upsets and just is serving it up? Maybe it's just a function of this ego. What if we just really took out the personality crap? It's just a function. Like, here comes a breeze. I'm not losing my shit over the breeze. How would that be? So friends, I just want to say, we're here for us. I see a lot of advice going back and forth. But, you know, stay with you. That's where the, the best healing is. Stay with you. Stay with how this is for you. Because everybody um, has this, like I said, everybody has their thing. And I feel a little tenderly when one person shares something and everybody's like, you know, just remember to hold your own heart too. Just like that oxygen mask story. <laughs> Keep giving ourselves the love. It's for us. And the more we heal ourselves, the more our friends can access their own healing. How about it? It's true, isn't it? You know what I'm talking about, how that feels when you share something and then everybody's like, you feel like you're the only one who struggles. I love that you guys share here. I'm, I'm not talking to you about that, but just an interesting point. I wonder if that's happened to anybody. I've been in those circles where everybody makes you the problem. You're the only one suddenly with all the problems. And you're like, wait a minute. How did that happen? We were just being asked to share our own stuff. And everybody's coming to me now, so... Is it possible they don't have to look at their own stuff? I don't know. Just interesting. <laughs> Carrie says, I let go of my story that I'm not strong to overcome the challenges or consistent caring for myself. It's powerful. I celebrate you. Um, wow. And I think something goes on in the refrigerator around that in a, in a power statement for you, babe, because that's beautiful. You know, some of us have been walking together for so long. We know our stories. And this one, I'm not strong. You know, it's like, yeah. Oh, oh, you mean I'm not weak. I'm strong. <laughs> right? I can take, let us let me see if I can redo it. I don't have my, I am strong. I overcome challenges and I consistently care for myself. Boom. You're so good, Carrie. Yeah. Amy, you feel all of it. You do. It's good. It's good. We're so beautiful. We're so amazing. And I appreciate so much. And Mary, love and acceptance. Yeah, that's where it's at. Yeah, projections from others. Just a breeze. Isn't it nice? Wouldn't it be nice, like, you know, when the rain cloud comes? I don't really, you know, even you might feel like, ah, oh. sometimes you're like, yay, it's raining. We need the rain, you know, but there, it's not much more than that. We can play. Yeah, Lena, Lena, we need to just come up with a new story right there. 
there's light in the darkness. You're here on Morning Magic Live for the first time, my friend. Right? There are people here sending love. There's healing happening. Are you receiving? Put your hand here and try it. Are you receiving, honey? There's so much love around you and such a beautiful soul here. You, that's you. Name something powerful, you know? Yeah. And you're here with us, honey. You're here with us. So good, so good, yeah. So, all right, that completes our healing. Today I would say just keep going. If you feel a little, any stories here, place a hand, place a hand, place a hand. Place a hand on your belly. And hold it there. And I'm going to ring some of the chimes today. The tuning forks for anyone who would like to receive. And I keep finding this card every time. Today belongs to love. Let me not fear. If you knew who walks beside you on the way that you have chosen, fear would be impossible. I'll post this in the story so you can maybe take a screenshot and keep that with you. So would somebody type now just so I know how the time uh, delay is going today? May you remember your light, your beauty. May you remember all who walk with you today. May you remember your peace, your joy, your ease. Thanks, Erica. Thanks, Carrie. May you remember forgiveness. It's now and any time. You can shoot your hand up and say, now. You catch yourself again, now, it's now. It's now. You are free. You are free. Thank you, my friends. So lovely to be with you today. Thanks for staying a little longer than usual. And so much love. I know who you are in truth. I know what you are in truth. And I know how you serve in truth. You are free. You are free. You are free. And you have come. You have come, you have come, and you are here. You are here, you are here, you are here. And I will be here again tomorrow morning. And until then, I'm gonna go play after work. Love you.